Hey guys, uh, today's a really nice day. The on Park Find 3 is supposed to be able to do about 23 miles. So we're gonna actually test out the range. Now, um, I measure from Google Maps from here to the top of that hill is exactly a mile. So I'm gonna probably um, try this test until my battery depletes uh, 50% and then I'm gonna go ahead and calculate it. I charged it completely full, it's at full battery. So we'll go ahead and ride it until it shows two bars. Really nice day. I think I picked a really good day. Uh, this is Ocean Beach, by the way. Perfect place to ride your board. And it should take only about uh, maybe two minutes, maybe three minutes to reach the top of the hill. I'm using my GoPro uh, Hero 8 Black, by the way. Really nice day, just cleared up. I thought it was gonna be foggy, but yeah, real nice today. All right, let's see how well it goes up the hill. I'm gonna try to go full speed. Oh, uh, yeah. You got an eight now? Yeah. Come on, I just bought the seven. <laughs> you got the eight? Yeah, you should return it. Yeah. How much you pay for uh, like uh, $3.99? Yeah, it's the same price. Yeah. Yeah, go return all it. All the accessories, I got like 750 bucks into it. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, you return know how it. That goes, right? Yeah, every return time, it. Every time I buy something, they come out with something better. So now I'm on Provo. Wow, it's real fast now. So it goes uphill real well today. Uh, so made the mark right here, one mile mark. We'll go ahead to take a break. Ho! Oh. And... Woo! All right. Made it here. Oh, this is exactly a mile. We're at the Cliff House. Definitely check it out. This is one of the uh, tourist spots in uh, San Francisco. And checking on my my screen here, I don't know if you can see. We're still on full battery, so that's a mile. Now let's go back. I'm gonna do a time lapse so I don't waste the battery. Hey guys, so we're still at full battery. That's two miles we've traveled. I'll have to do this a bunch of times more. Check out the nice scene out here. Uh, real nice. Another great way to ride uh, your electric skateboard is obviously just sitting down. And I do this on my regular longboard. And uh, this is great when your legs get tired because uh, you're standing up the whole time. Uh, as long as you're, you know, you're not in the like the main public road, you can do this, and you can go left and right simply by moving your your weight. But I do this all the time on my longboard and snowboard, so I'm sort of used to it. Um, but this is great a way to uh, just take some breaks uh, off um, longboarding. Anyway, um, I'm on two and a half miles. I'm almost at the top of the hill. Uh, hopefully, we'll make it up there. Don't go too fast. Uh, it's a little bit harder to control your board, obviously, when you're on your uh, on your butt. But this is also a great way. And we'll see how well it makes up the hill over here while sitting down. Going up the hill, it's a little bit more harder to control. Actually, sitting a sitting long time like this is actually pretty hard. It's uh, it's actually a lot of work. So I'm gonna get back back on uh, standing. Once I reach the top here, we're almost there. All right, third mile finished. Uh, we're still at full bars. So three miles, I'm pretty much flat ground. We still got full bars, so I'll have to go back. Okay, we just finished our fourth mile. Uh, we are at still full bars. So four miles, still four bars. I don't know if I can de deplate the battery on this thing, but we'll go our, for our sixth mile here. So one of the things about this board, you can really carve the handles really well. So I really just love going left and right. It's just like snowboarding, but 
uh, pretty much on uh, flat ground. But cars real well. Um, really like that about this. It's definitely highly recommend it for those of you who want to carve. I don't know, I'm not used to having extra, extra power. I'm used to just pushing on my board. So this allows you to get that extra exercise carving. This is a lot of fun, yeah. <laughs> gonna go zigzag all day. Ah. I think this is a lot of good exercise, especially if you uh, snowboard or something. This can give you that uh, leg exercise that you need for carving uh, later on. So I'm going full speed up the hill in pro mode. Does pretty good. Boy. I'm going to slow down. There's some tourists out here. Woohoo! So I'll say this is about a five degree incline. Um, does really well for these inclines. I think it's just uh, the real steep inclines. Uh, it does have a little bit of trouble. But yeah, for most cities, it's going to be fine. Just avoid like super steep hills. Uh, then you'll need a boosted board, in my opinion. So that's fifth, five miles we just traveled. Uh, I just lost one bar. So based on that, uh, five times four, so about 20 miles. Um, the advertised 23 miles, I think about accurate, but that's huge. That's almost three times the range of a Boosted Mini S. Wow. Anyway, I'm gonna go for a few more miles. I'm gonna maybe do seven and see. Oh, now it went back to uh, full bars. So it didn't exactly use one full bar. So let me go for a few more miles. Uh, this will be my sixth mile. On my sixth mile, I'm just getting tired, so I need to <laughs> sit down for a little bit. Um, this is a great way also to ride. Because if you ride straight five, six miles, that's like straight 30 minutes of just standing up. Um, just sitting down definitely helps. So knowing different positions definitely helps. But yeah, this battery is beating me. This battery is just lasting forever. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish the test. So I'm gonna have to give you guys like a guesstimate probably. But yeah, really love this board. Um, so this thing's gonna cost, what, 590 at launch. And is it worth it? If you don't live on steep hills like I do, you don't need the full power of boosted board. I think boosted board has more torque because it's belt driven. I think you might be better off with something like this. It's gonna give you a ton, like three times more range than something like a boosted Mini S. All right. Also probably a little bit more range than um, the boosted boards. I think that's the value of it, um, that you can go forever. I mean, the battery life is amazing on this. And I did a test with the Mini S, and uh, when I did the test with the Mini S, when I was riding uh, the Mini S with this, with my daughter, we rode about the same, but the Boosted ran out of battery, while this board still had pretty much full battery at the end of the day. So I thought that was amazing. That's why I'm, another reason I'm doing this test, I think the highlight of this board is definitely, obviously, the, um, the battery, the battery life. Uh, pretty amazing because it's hub driven um, you're not going to get as much torque because you don't have that belt you don't have that uh, drivetrain uh, the the gear ratio whatnot um, but the good thing i'll show you here in a second is that uh, this thing has no friction no uh, resistance if you run out of charge you can ride it just like a regular longboard and anyway, almost closing on my sixth mile i'm about three bars so six miles i can go um, that's about 25% of the battery, so about 24 miles range, 23 mile range. So I think that's about right, but I'm going to just go another two miles up and back just, just to make sure. Yeah, let's do that. So one of the cool things about this board, there's absolutely no friction because it's hub driven. There's no resistance. You can ride it just like a regular longboard if you run out of uh, battery power, which is great. All right. So if you just want to get some exercise, uh, you can pretty much ride it on by itself and also recharge the battery. You'll have to use the brakes, but that's really cool that um, 
you don't need, need to use electricity. Now the only thing is this force is kind of high, so you really got to kind of get used to uh, sort of getting down, bending your knees. But absolutely no problem in pushing the board, right? So these uh, lights are pretty awesome. Uh, I know Boosted Board just recently added uh, these lights, similar lights. They're selling for $1.99 as an add-on. But well, amazing that this board already has headlights. Uh, it's got brakes that come on if you brake. And at night, you got headlights, which is really nice. The only thing I wish, unless you're in like perfect pavement, I feel like the wheels are a little bit too hard. So yeah, I just wish it was softer wheels. Um, that's That would be the nice thing. So at seven miles, we're still at three bars. I think it could possibly do like 30 miles. This is crazy. Uh, I'm at eight miles. I just finished my eight miles. So that's four times round trip. I still have three bars. So definitely this thing does more than a boosted uh, plus board, which I think does 18 miles. So uh, I would go on longer, but Oh, it's just taking me forever. I think it's a whole hour just to do this test. So I'm going to stop here. Uh, eight miles, I still have three bars. Amazing. So on Park Find 3, I find a very good e-skateboard. This will go on Kickstarter for, I think, $590 US dollars. I think that's actually a really good price for a board that can go almost over 20 miles. I estimate, I think it can go about 25 miles or maybe even 30 miles. I wasn't able to finish the test because it was just taking too long. The board still has 75% of battery left after eight miles. That's almost 32 miles if you can go all the way. Now I'm pretty darn sure it can do about 23 to 25 miles. That's still like six, seven miles over boosted boards, uh, boosted plus boards, which can only do 18 miles. Now the difference I see between the boosted board and the on park fine three is that there are two different technologies. One is belt driven. It's got more torque. Uh, boosted boards is going to be better for very steep hills like in San Francisco. Now, belt driven does take a lot more friction. There's more resistance. As you saw with my On Park Find 3, I could literally use it as a regular longboard when it runs out of battery. It's way more efficient in terms of using the battery. Of course, it does have a lot less torque. So when I'm going up super steep hills, it's going to go a lot slower. But on relatively flat ground and modest hills, like less than 10% grade, you're going to have a longer battery life, a lot more efficient motor. There's going to be less wear and tear. This is completely water resistant design compared to like a boosted board. You can pretty much splash this through a lot of water. So there's benefits to this board. In terms of price, I know Boosted Mini S just went on sale for like 580 bucks, uh, about the same price as the On Park Find 3. The real difference is the range. If you absolutely need like super long range around like 23 to 25 miles, On Park Find 3 obviously going to give you three times or more the range. Uh, versus Boosted Mini S, it's got more power, but because it has so much torque, even if you're going on flat ground, you're still using a ton of energy. Versus the Fine 3, it doesn't have any friction or resistance, it's just using the hub, just the motor itself. It's definitely more efficient, and also it's super, super quiet. So I think if you're gonna use your electric board for commuting, and if that round trip is more than like five miles, I would say the Fine 3 is better. If your commute is less than five miles, I would say the Boosted Mini S is fine. Now, in terms of maximum speed, I was able to get 30 kilometers per hour. That's about 18 miles. That's about the same as the Boosted S. Again, the difference is that the Mini S has more torque. It's able to go up the hills faster. It's able to start faster. Whereas the Fine 3 will take a little bit longer, but this board has been designed to get long range. I talked to the engineers and they actually toned it down and I think it has also something to do with the battery, uh, the voltages. In order to make it more efficient, make it safer, they have to actually limit the board. So overall, the Fine 3 has really been designed for very long range, and it's gonna give you that. And it's got plenty speed. I mean, 60 miles per hour, that's still plenty to go fast enough. I mean, unless you're gonna race somebody, I think this board is gonna be fine. And for most of you, you're probably gonna run at beginner mode or intermediate mode. So overall, I do highly recommend this. Again, if you want long range e-skateboard at a very low cost, I think this is a great board. But yeah, I really like this board. I'll definitely do another long range test. Maybe take it completely across town uh, and back. But the thing is at 25 mile range, I would still have to travel the whole San Francisco back and forth 
five times. This board has some ridiculous range. Also, I'll be reviewing more e-skateboards because that's something I'm passionate about. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I'll leave it in the comment box below. Have a great day. And as always, stay. <laughs>